Hi, right, Shalom, so Devil One, this is the Apostles of GMS, and it's your brothers will be pushing this truth and sincerity. It's going to be a quick video here, but something that's been in my mind for quite some time at the minute. And um, it's, it's what is spoken about in the book of Ephesians 6, chapter 12, verse. And we, the quick, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world. It's spiritual weakness in high places, right? And most of, of what this is going to manifest as is them demons messing with you in the head. See, you get scoffers talking all that shit. See, a scoffer will talk for a day and the most size judgment will come up. And what you're going to find out is every brother's going to have to be put to the final test, man, right? Which is, um, you know, which is spoken about in the book of Revelations, right? The hour of temptation, right? Elders. Brothers on down have done videos as pertains to our temptation. We all check that out. All right. What you're gonna find out is people are gonna have to be put to the test. When you're put to the test, and the most and the most size put, pushes that thumb under you. All right. That's when them demons is gonna come back and mess with you in the head. All right. But I'm not here to give you the the, the, the problems or, or, or um, to show you the problems that you already know about. What I'll try to do is uh, show you the method that you should be aware of, all right? The same method that you have shy, you know, pretty much cursed out Satan, all right? Uh, this is the book of Matthew, the fourth chapter, and the first verse it says, Then uh, was your house, I led up into this, he led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, right? It says, uh, He had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungry. To when the tempter said, uh, when the tempter came to him, he said, If that be your son of the most high, come on, these stones to, and, and, and these stones be bread. But he answered, It is written, I shall not live by bread alone, but after every word that proceeds out of the word of the most high, right? And that was what the Lord's doing here, man. He's using that, you know, the scriptural backing, man, the backbone, right? The foundations. Of which is spoken about in the book of Matthew, the 13th chapter, foundations that you're supposed to get 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 solid, man. So this is the time of mercy right now, man. We're supposed to be getting heavy into the scriptures. So when time comes, man, when the demons jump on you, you're supposed to cut them up in the scriptures, man. You ain't really supposed to be. I mean, hey, look, man. It's however and whatever the most I wants at the end of the day, all right. But you're supposed to be able to um to battle. Right, with the scriptures using the scriptures, right, as a means of uh, cursing them demons that come in, come into everybody's, that are coming to your head, man. And what that's going to do ultimately as well is going to get you sharper within the scriptures, man. All right, because you might get it to where in your head, you're trying to, you know, you're trying to, you know, figure out a, a decision, and you're finding out it's not quite expedient. But you got the scriptures to, to to get it. That's when you get in a heavy spirit, and you got to start getting deeper into the scriptures, man. And what you find out might not necessarily be expedient, man. You get deeper, the deeper understanding of it, right? You find the solution and the way around, not necessarily the way around, but, but a more spiritual solution to whatever problem that may be. Hopefully, me uh, using these analogies is um, is uh, making the point I'm trying to make, right? I'll read a, a little bit more, just to, but you know the point is already made. So it says, the devil take them up into a holy city. Setting it, setting it on a uh, pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, Thou be son of the Most High, cast thyself down, what is written, he shall give the angels charge concerning thee, and their hands shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against the sun. The house shall said unto him, It is written, Thou shalt not attempt, thou shalt not tempt, furthermore, the Lord that power which comes into the scriptures, which comes, which comes from the Lord. More. And then it goes on and it goes to, you know, the devil shows him all the kingdoms that was going to come forth. And, you know, and the Lord pretty much, I, I cursed that the devil using the scriptures, the scriptural ground. But see, that's what's going to say, really, scriptural understanding comes from Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, sanction, sanction that understanding. If you, if you, if they don't want to give you the faith, you ain't going to get the faith. You do whatever you want, my Lord. You can sort it with tears. Like Esau saw it, salvation and uh, redemption would taste. But guess what, man? You ain't gonna get it, all right. So what you gonna what you, what you can do, though, however, with the zeal, 
right? And according to the scriptures, you got the zeal, right? And you believe you got the faith, man. As we all believe, we got the faith. What you can do is you set up your foundation strong by being persistent within the scriptures. Well, I see what you gonna find out about these guys in IUIC, man. They ain't got it down with Pat, man. They ain't going through hell, man. Because if they were going through hell, they'll, they'll be persistent like the men of the GMS are. See, when you see them brothers pushing that, that, that word, man, they, that's because they don't want to catch a, a deeper level of hell that they're in, man. Well, they don't want, they, they, not necessarily that, man. They, we want to get out of here. That's the case in point. We want to get out of here. The only way we can see a way out of here is through, through uh, fortifying our minds with these scriptures. All right? And when the days of, of tribulations come, we get through that. Like the scripture says in Revelation 7, chapter 20, 25th verse, He that enjoyeth until the end to him will I give power over the nation. See, that's 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 what gives us like, the pleasure, man. You see these Edomites walking around, these fine-ass women, man. All right? And you see some punk Edomite that would have been laughing at you if you was getting lynched or something like that, man. See, that really kind of gives me pleasure, man. Because I know we're getting in the time when the most High is going to allow us to take them devils out man and what does the scripture say in uh, Isaiah the 13th chapter man we're gonna ravish their women we're gonna dash their children to pieces so that that seed can't carry on anymore contrary to them guys I think Cornelius was an Edomite Edomites is gonna be gonna be uh, eliminated bro all right after a thousand years of hardcore slavery the book over that it pretty much says it best man oh and the 12th, 20th chapter man it talks about Esau being completely done away with forever and ever man the eye that I've seen shall see him no more all right, and I'm kind of sidetracking off the point here, but you know it, it kind of makes me happy, man, because these punks are you know they're gonna be destroyed, man, and we're gonna take their their their, their women for spoil, their their, their gold, and all of that, man, and, and, and their useful riches, because the cars and all of that, man, that's not really riches, man, that's that shit is hurting the earth, man. All right, the earth is mourning right now because of shit like that, man. We see real well, right, amassing wealth like gold, all right, slaves. All right, sex slaves. All right, you call them wives, but you know, I know you, a woman's got a place. All right, when that's in the bedroom and the kitchen, man. All right, see, a lot of, you know, I mean, I'm kind of getting sidetracked at the minute, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in the spirit, man. Right see, a lot of dudes think that you're gonna be out there in the kingdom cupcake and your wife and your, your kids and that. Man. You're gonna have all kind of wives. All right, to it, you you might not see them for months and months, man. All right, your favorite wife. It's gonna be the one you see that night, man. That they're able to harness us, man. All right. Really, what the business you're gonna be occupied in, all right, is maintaining the establishment and and the lot that your how your house I have given you. All right. So you're supposed to govern a certain group of slaves and they'll complete a particular task. All right. That's what you're gonna do, man. You got a you got a jurisdiction. All right. That you're gonna to have to look after. All right, you're going to have a, a, a jurisdiction that you're going to have to maintain. And in so doing, man, really that family time, that, that, that family guy, that, that, that's the thing of this world. That's a weakness, right? A demon of this world. And, and going back onto the point of this video, all right, you, when you read the scriptures, man, you find out, man, really it is, man. All right, that emotional love and all of that, man, a woman's supposed to be a strength, man. All right, not a weakness. Or you come home, she's making all kind of noise and all that. But like I said, I'm getting sidetracked a little bit. But see, like I, like I was saying, man, you know, people got some mis uh, misconceptions about what the kingdom's going to be. And I can't tell you point for point what it's going to be like. It's going to be way so so uh, <coughs> far beyond what we look for. Right? And the scripture says. So just to wrap this up, man. So now you you know now you know what to do. Get heavier in the scriptures. Get heavier in the law. Right, get heavier into those those uh, those proverbs because a lot of those proverbs, man. When you're getting heavy into those proverbs, those proverbs, right? Those are the ones that you need the most when the, when the demons come because those proverbs really deal with you know with uh, not the whole scriptures is low, but not necessarily low. They deal with more like uh, um, what's expedient and what's not expedient. So the low might not explicitly say something, but you read in the proverbs, right? Yeah, you get the understanding of that and in the book of Sirach. I see the book of the, the book of the law doesn't tell you uh, 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 things as, as pertaining to um, you know social conduct and so on and so forth. But the Sirach and all of that will help you out. So you might you might you might you might think it uh, 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 lawful. You you go out your niggas you in the world and all of that all the damn time, 
all right but the scriptures speak about you know in, in the book of ecclesiasticus um i believe it might be the seventh verse which talks about um show your person make a wise man man and then he goes it might go on to say um the point i'm making i know it's in ecclesiastes uh, um it's better to go into the house of the morning than the house of feasting man see that's not really explicitly in the law but really the whole scriptures is still man. all right but that's one of those things you know when satan comes and your phone's buzzing and dudes are saying yo you want to come out that's that's one demon you could battle you battle it throughout that scripture so really with that that would probably be the best example for uh the, 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 the point i'm trying to make with this short video all right and with that we'll say double honest to the apostles of gms honestly because i'll be pushing this truth and sincerity so one